here, we're going to do a problem that focuses on entropy and chemical reactions. You can find more AP Chem materials right here. This is one of my favorite topics. Okay, which reaction illustrates the least increase in entropy? So, we're talking about entropy here, which measures the disorder of a system. To answer this question, we'll need to look at the before and after for each reaction and estimate the entropy change that takes place. So we're looking for the reaction that experiences the least increase in entropy. When you're doing problems like this, which are very common on the AP Chem test, there are two essential trends to keep in mind with entropy change. The first is this. As you move from solid to liquid to gas, there is an increase in entropy. That's because each phase allows for a broader range of particle motion. The particles in a solid are fixed in place and vibrating. In a liquid, the particles are kind of swimming around. We've got more motion and disorder. And in a gas, the particles are flying around in constant random motion. So disorder and entropy increase as you go from solid to liquid to gas. Okay. The second essential trend is that as you move from fewer moles of gas to more moles of gas, there's also an increase in entropy. And this makes sense. The more gas, the more particles zooming around, the higher the disorder. Okay, so keeping these two trends in mind, we'll now look through each of these answer choices and evaluate the before and after. Start up here with choice A. What's happening here? Well, we're moving from one mole of gas to two moles of gas. We want to pay attention to the coefficients and to the state symbols when we're doing problems like this. So one mole of gas to two moles of gas. That is a definite increase in entropy, more gas. So we can cross that one off right away. In choice B, we have two moles of a solid producing three moles of gas and two moles of a solid. Here we see both of these two trends in action, moving from solid to gas and producing more moles of gas. So, or of course, we didn't even have any gas at all, but creating gas, right? So, in other words, we're definitely going to see an increase in entropy. So it's unlikely that B is going to be our correct answer. The entropy is going to skyrocket for this. Okay, now choice C. Here we have one, two, two moles of gas producing two moles of gas. Okay, so this is probably going to be about the same level of entropy from beginning to end. Now, we haven't seen choice D yet, so we can't cross off C. We don't know if it's right, so let's just put a little question mark beside it and take a look at D. Okay, finally choice D. Here, we have one mole of liquid, three moles of gas, producing two plus three equals five moles of gas. So this is a definite increase in entropy. That means we can cross D off and go back to our question mark here. Choice C is going to be the correct answer because it illustrates the least increase in entropy. All the other choices represent a significant increase in entropy except for this one. Tests can be tricky and it's important to go through each answer choice. If you're unsure about whether an answer choice is wrong, like we had with C here, don't cross it off. Okay. Sometimes you'll be in a situation where all the other options are definitely wrong. And in this case, the answer choice that was least bad, the one you're unsure about, sometimes that's going to be, that's going to turn out to be the correct answer. So that's a really important strategy to keep in mind. Don't cross anything off unless you're sure that it's wrong. 